Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to duo Giratina with no weather boost uh, with Dialga uh, and you know a lot of people and I did my comparison video of Dialga, Rayquaza and Palkia against a Shadow Claw Ominous Win and many people in the comments uh, noted and in, in in the Reddit thread as well noted that I was not it wasn't a fair comparison for Dialga because Dialga's strength is not its moveset uh, it's it's typing which is fair enough so what we did was we found a dragon tail dragon pulse uh, the most difficult moveset to duo with no other boost uh, again in neutral weather uh, for uh, origin form giratina and we decided to use only dialgas we are going to max revise with these dialgas and uh, yeah you know it dialga can tank uh, quite a decent amount of uh, looks like two dragon pulses uh, but unfortunately it still suffers from a poor moveset but you'll see that its performance is actually very consistent compared to Rayquaza and Palkia where Rayquaza and Palkia I've seen times where people beat it with 17 18 19 20 seconds left but I've also seen instances where it's absolutely obliterated the team and they end up failing failing the raid so but Dragon Breath is just a tad too slow i wish i wish dragon breath actually generated energy faster than dragon tail and we end up losing that draco meteor and the reason why we run into more quote unquote bad rng is because there's just a lo way longer window uh, for us to charge up and because there's a way longer window there's more opportunities to to lose a significant amount of energy uh, as opposed to if it's a if it's a two bar move or a higher energy generation fast move, there's a lower chance because that window is much smaller relative to to the charge move. So uh, I'm on the left, Scotty is on the right, uh, and I'm gonna lobby out first after this uh, after this uh, Dialga here, and you'll see here we're probably gonna flip it around like 160 ish. So it's not too bad, uh, but it's it's. Uh, you know it's still relatively close in we can't lose too many draco meteors uh so here we're able to, so like 160 we're able to hit this draco meteor right before so that was like great rng here so i'm going to lobby out uh manually and then going to go through the healing process right here so boom 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 and then a little bit of lag on my part this which caused the the heal to be a little bit slower but that's perfectly fine uh we're still on a on a good schedule and pace um, so these dragon pulses still do a decent amount of damage but not a ton of damage uh, you'll see they take about a third of the health away from dialga a max out of dialga uh, at that and then uh, scotty's gonna go through the relobbing process right now and you know what this dragon tail dragon pulse duo is really difficult uh, we live streamed this and we failed it uh, many times using Rayquaza's and palkia's uh, but with the more consistent performance of Dialga, since these charge moves are not so devastating, uh, and they certainly don't like one shot or even come close to like taking out fifty percent of the health of Dialga, uh, there's there's less variability due to the RNG. Let's just say that. Let's see here uh, if I can hit this uh, Draco meter, but unfortunately not able to hit this Draco meter, and I and I lose about half to sixty percent of the energy I built up already. It just takes so long with Dragon Breath. So hit the Draco meteor here. Um, oh, looks like I rubber banded a little bit there, which is a little bit unfortunate. Gonna cost us a little bit of time. Uh, kind of a dumb move by me. I'm not used to using uh, Dragon Breath. Dra um, uh, Draco meter so did cost a few dragon breaths didn't cost us a Draco meter because there was no chance I was going to get that that Draco meter off even if I did uh, save like the three seconds or so from doubling up that charge move and then uh, and sometimes you'll see that doubling up the charge move and it'll say in the log that there was two Draco meters that's actually not the case um, so that's just you rubber banding uh, that particular energy so Scotty very nicely hits that Draco meteor great that's awesome he's gonna manually switch which is great and I'm taking a look there uh, to see whether or not I am going to get this Draco meter oh, actually I dodge here and actually risk getting dodge glitch there uh, just because uh, I didn't want to lose the energy so uh, actually it was a really little bit of risky 
uh, move on my end, uh, but it paid off. And Scotty's excellent switching and understanding of energy management was uh, definitely allowed us to be successful in this raid. So thank you very much, Scotty, for for the duo. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see any other comparison or raid videos, just put it in the comment section below, and I'll see everyone in the next video.